I am walking through my community on my way to the salt spa. Thought I would give you all a view of some of the homes in one of the prominent areas, a few miles from my house. So this is all one house that we're passing. You can see it's pretty huge. This is the house, the driveway. Of course, there's not a whole lot of land. I know in the Gambia we're used to seeing on the continent even, right? Seeing more land than we see between these houses. But these are some of the houses. Looks like a lot of people are having work done. I'm not sure if it's reconstruction or rehab. I guess people figure this is the time to do it. When you're home, you notice all the different issues. Uh, so I guess people are having stuff fixed that they haven't taken care of. Um, so I see a lot of these big uh, places to, you know, trailers to dump the trash because you have to get rid of your trash when you're doing construction. Here's another home over here that I'm walking past. You see it has like a circular driveway and they have a nice view of the mountains of Pennsylvania behind the house. Here's another one over here. Some of them are kind of cool. This is the garage to that white house. Um, here's another little quaint house. This one's kind of small, but you know, a lot of them are bigger than they look because of course we're seeing the front, but they're on a hill, so they may have huge basements or basements with high ceilings anyway. But this is my little stroll to the salt spa. I decided to treat myself to the salt spa today. I can use a massage. I feel like I'm getting a little stiff kind of sitting around the house. So this is the house with the construction that they're working on. You can see this looks a lot, I don't know, it kind of stands out a little bit because it doesn't look like some of the older houses here. But it's interesting. You see the view of the mountains back here? Yeah, you got a nice little landscape back there. It's pretty quiet. Ain't really nobody out. You might see like one or two people. I guess most people are still at work, working uh, virtually and just being able to work from home offices as well. And if they do go in, you know, folks are still kind of isolated a bit. But yeah, these houses are on a hill. So, sad I'm strolling. Had to check on Amon today because I saw an Instagram post about some policemen harassing or should I say assaulting right because I don't know what was going on I just feel like there's never a reason to harass or put your hands on other people's children unless they're being you know physically aggressive but in this situation I heard that the kids were I think it said that the kids were vaping in public or something and because they were vaping in public that the police uh, restrained them or assaulted them somehow and it was on Instagram so I called him on immediately of course because I was concerned that somehow he or his group might have been involved um, you know it's the times that you think your peep anyone you know is not involved that something happens and then you're kind of heartbroken that you didn't check on him so of course I called him immediately and he was fine he was in his room or at the house I should say because they rented a house together he and his friends but uh some more of these little houses see they look very different from the houses on the continent I don't know. I always feel like the houses on the continent are a lot more grand. I guess these would be like colonial style houses. You know, they have different names for the architecture that's used in the United States, depending on the era. I imagine it's the same way on the continent, but I can't speak on that because I'm not familiar with that. Um, and the only reason I know that information is because I majored in architecture in high school. 
Yeah, y'all know I got a bag of tricks, right? Got a whole lot that I've done specialized in. And I like to think there's a reason for that, right? It's all coming to fruition on the continent. So it'll be interesting just to kind of get, um, I don't know, I guess as when you think about all the skills that you've acquired and then you end up in one location, you get to see everything kind of come to fruition and then it all makes sense. So that is my hope. So yeah, I just stepped off the curb and walked around because you know, some people were coming, they ain't had no mask on and I'm not digging for my mask. So I don't have no problem stepping away from folks. Yep, here's another one. This one's pretty nice. For those of you who like Mercedes, there's a little Mercedes park there. It's funny, sometimes I look at these houses when I think there's more garage than there is house, but that could just be me. So I'm gonna show you all this side of it. See, there's another hill. If you go up that way, more house. This is a pretty big house, it takes up the whole corner. And down here, just a lot of trees. There is a house that's kind of below ground, which is interesting. This one's like below ground. And behind this is more mountains, but obviously we can't see it from here because there's a lot of greenery right now, this time of year. But you all remember when I was taking you for the drives, there wasn't any greenery. I'm trying to see if there's a spot where I can show you all the mountainside. Nah. They do have, it looks like they're trying to sell the land. No, it's saying this, the only way you can go through this area is for emergency use only. See, they have some ways, like it's like a trail or something. I'm not sure what that trail is. I have to check into that. It might be one of the trails that I walk on, but I never walk off the, you know, the main path. I like to stay in the areas that I'm familiar with. You don't want to be stepping on nobody's property. Because you know folks be quick to pull out an old rifle or act like they didn't know they had a wild dog loose. So you want to be careful. Now here's another interesting one. This one you have to drive up to the home. It's kind of tucked away behind. Oh, if you all can see that. See, I can always enlarge a little bit, I guess. Let's go up a hill, and then there's another house on the other side of it. You can see it through the trees. Taking y'all for a stroll through. This area is called Wire Missing. Yeah, they had the nerve to keep the native American names. So it's spelled W Y O M I S S I N G, Wyoming, Missing, Pennsylvania. They have a lot of Native American names here. Uh, another name is uh, Kukusing, is another name. Yeah, that looks like the park down there to check out this trail. I'm not really sure where this leads to, but I see the trail again. So I was talking about streets with Native American names. Uh, Wyoming, Kukusing, Perky Omen. That's P-E-R-K-I-O-M-E-N. I used to say Pokemon all the time when I first came from New York. There's another street here. You see it says no outlet. So if you go down that street, there's only one way in and one way out. I did hear in the past 
that these streets were designed in a way to separate people of color and keep them out of these communities. Um, people who grew up in the Reading area shared that information with me. And it was basically like there was one way in and one way out. Um, so if you got caught in this community, you'd have a problem. I know you couldn't swim in these areas. I also heard about that. Um, I know they have East and West Reading, and you know that when you go to cross Penn Avenue because it changes from Penn Street to Penn Avenue. As you can see, the houses get smaller now. And this is where the local school district is at. Um, I think this school is called Wild Missing Hills. This is the local public school. And you can see um, it's an elementary school. So it's pretty big. Goes from here to here. This is the local. I'm going to bring it back down a little bit. Public school so y'all can see. This is the school. Going from here to here. Parking lot. And like I said, the houses are a little smaller now. Got a little bit of space between them. And the further you go down, the closer the houses get. Uh, up ahead is the the mall. Part in the family. Yeah, for some reason, when I walk, I detox. Like, literally, my eyes water, my nose runs. I feel like, you know, I'm purging when I walk. Which is probably a good thing. Just don't know how good it is for the camera or for you all to hear. But, you know, nevertheless. So this is the school I was telling you about. See, that's the school. You can see some artwork. And there's another building back there. I don't know if you all can see that. But all of this is part of the school that I just showed you. And school is out now, of course. I think kids on the continent are still going to classes on Saturday. But they are out of school here. So I'm going to shut this down because there's nothing more exciting to see. As you can see, all these little cookie cutter homes kind of look the same. It's just a box. All right, family. Blessings. We'll talk soon.